Did you know that right now, somewhere in a lab in Shanghai, a robot is walking with perfectly straight knees, just like you and me? Not shuffling, not clunky, but fluid and natural. At the same time, another company is training robotic butlers with dexterous hands that can fold laundry, cook, and even clean your floors. Meanwhile, a startup is making global headlines with the most controversial idea yet. A humanoid robot with a full artificial womb designed for pregnancy. Jack Ma's company has already dropped a humanoid chef that cooks garlic shrimp on stage. Tesla is betting its entire future on Optimus, despite mounting doubts. And NASA? They're openly planning artificial astronauts, robots tough enough to survive on Mars before humans even arrive. And while all of that might sound like science fiction, AI massage robots are already rolling out across the United States, quietly sliding into everyday life. The pace is wild. The stakes are enormous. And what we're really witnessing is the dawn of embodied AI, where intelligence is no longer trapped in screens, but living, breathing, and walking around in humanoid form. So today, I want to take you on a journey through the rise of humanoids, from China's breakthroughs to Tesla's grand vision, from controversial womb bots to NASA's plans for Mars, and what it all means for us. For decades, humanoid robots have been stuck in the realm of gimmicks. You've probably seen clips of Honda's Asimo awkwardly shuffling across a stage, or Boston Dynamics Atlas doing parkour in highly choreographed demos. Cool, but never practical. The criticism has always been the same. They're fragile, clunky, and too easily thrown off balance. Great for a TED talk, useless in a warehouse. But something is changing fast, thanks to advances in actuators, multimodal AI, and embodied learning. Robots are moving from stunt shows to serious contenders, and nowhere is this shift clearer than in China. Kepler's K2 Bumblebee, the straight knee breakthrough. In Shanghai, Kepler Robotics unveiled the K2 Bumblebee, a humanoid robot that walks with straight knees. It sounds simple, but in robotics, this is groundbreaking. Most humanoids shuffle like they're perpetually crouching because bent knees are easier for balance. But it looks awkward and wastes energy. Bumblebee, with its hybrid joint design and VLA plus AI framework, that's vision, language, and action fused together, walks upright like a person. Why does this matter? Because it makes the robot more stable more efficient and more human-like. On uneven ground, slopes, or when someone gives it a shove, it doesn't collapse. It adjusts in real time, recovering like a human would. At the 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference, Kepler live-streamed Bumblebee for eight hours straight, walking, manipulating objects, even holding conversations, without losing balance. That's a big deal because fragility has always been the Achilles heel of humanoids. Compare that with Tesla's Optimus. Tesla's design relies on different actuators. And while it's promising, it hasn't yet proven itself under real-world disturbances. Bumblebee seems engineered to handle chaos, not just stage demos. And that's the key. If humanoids are going to work in warehouses, hospitals, or even on city streets, they can't be fragile showpieces. They have to survive the real world. Of course, commercialization is still tricky. These machines are expensive, regulators are unprepared, and mass adoption is years away. But the signal is clear. China is closing in on practical humanoid robots, and the world is paying attention. If Kepler is solving the problem of walking like us, another Chinese startup, X Square Robotics, is reinventing how robots use their hands. X Square just raised over $100 million, backed by Alibaba Cloud and other heavyweights. 
Their big reveal is something called Wall OSS, an open source embodied AI foundation model. Here's the problem it's tackling. Most robots either forget old skills when they learn new ones, something called catastrophic forgetting, or their vision, language, and motor systems get out of sync, which makes them clumsy. Wall OOSS fixes this by blending real-world action data with generative video simulations, teaching robots to generalize across different environments. On top of that, it layers in chain-of-thought reasoning. So instead of following rigid commands like pick up cup, place on table, the robot can plan multi-step tasks, walk to fridge, grab food, bring it to the living room. All of this powers their humanoid, the Quanta X2. Imagine a robot with 62 degrees of freedom, 20 joint dexterous hands, and modular tools like mops and brushes. It's pitched as a robotic butler, capable of household chores, service work, even industrial tasks. And because Wall OSS is open source, X Square is betting developers worldwide will build on top of it, accelerating adoption the same way open source software fueled the AI boom. Their ambition? Robotic butlers and households within five years. Bold, maybe crazy, but with embodied AI moving this fast, not impossible. Then we come to the most shocking development of all. Kaiwa Technologies Pregnancy Robot. Unveiled at the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing, this concept envisions a life-sized humanoid with an artificial womb capable of carrying a fetus for a full 10-month gestation cycle. Not just an incubator, but a humanoid surrogate. The fetus would float in artificial amniotic fluid, nourished through a hose system, mimicking natural pregnancy. Founder Gang Kiong claims the technology already works in lab conditions. It just needs to be integrated into humanoid form. They say it could launch by 2026 for under $14,000. Now let's be real. This is deeply controversial. Some see hope for families struggling with infertility. Others see an ethical nightmare. Who owns the child? What happens if the system fails mid-gestation? And should humanoids ever cross into something so profoundly human? There is precedent. In 2017, scientists in Philadelphia kept a premature lamb alive in an artificial womb for four weeks. But taking that to full-term human pregnancy is a massive leap. Regardless, Kaiwa has already started talks with regulators in Guangdong province. Whether society is ready or not, this idea is moving forward. Let's swing back to something that feels a little less dystopian. Jack Ma's Ant Group and its first humanoid robot, the R1. They debuted it in Berlin by cooking garlic shrimp on stage and again in Shanghai at the Inclusion Conference. The R1 weighs over 240 pounds, stands around five and a half feet tall and comes with 34 degrees of freedom. It's already being used in museums, restaurants, and community centers in China. What makes this interesting isn't the cooking demo. It's the integration. Ant isn't selling these robots individually. They're bundling them as part of scenario solutions for institutions. Think restaurants, museums, and public spaces. And behind the scenes, Ant is building its own large language model called Baling, optimized for domestic GPUs. Their play is clear. Merge hardware and AI into one package, much like Tesla. It's not just about having a robot. It's about creating an entire ecosystem where the robot body and the AI brain evolve together. And that brings us to Tesla, the company that has staked its future on the Optimus humanoid robot. Elon Musk just revealed Master Plan Part 4, themed around sustainable abundance. The vision is bold. Optimus robots replacing human labor in dangerous or repetitive jobs, freeing people to focus on creativity and purpose. But critics remain unconvinced. 
Tesla's self-driving robo-taxis in Austin still require human operators. Optimus itself has been accused of staged demos, with robots actually remote controlled by humans at launch events. And Musk admitted that his new plan lacks specifics. Still, Musk insists Optimus will redefine labor. He's pitching a future where humanoids are as transformative as the Model 3, or even the Internet. Whether that's realistic or hype remains to be seen. NASA's Artificial Astronauts for Mars While Tesla dreams about robots replacing human jobs, NASA dreams even bigger – robots replacing humans in space. Dr. Pascal Lee and his team are pushing the concept of artificial astronauts – humanoid robots tough enough to handle the brutal conditions of Mars without needing food, oxygen, or bulky suits. They go first, paving the way for human settlers. Powered by AGI, or eventually ASI, artificial superintelligence, they could become explorers in their own right. Lee even suggested we may see them as our offspring, carrying human DNA across the galaxy, extending humanity beyond Earth. SpaceX is already on board. Musk has floated the idea of launching Optimus robots to Mars as early as 2026, ahead of planned human landings in 2029 or 2031. If that happens, our first Martian colonists won't be astronauts in spacesuits. They'll be humanoid robots. All of this might sound like far future science fiction, but let's bring it back down to Earth. In San Antonio, Texas, a spa is already using AI-powered massage robots called Escape. These machines use four cameras, body scans, and robotic arms to deliver massages that feel shockingly human-like. They've been in development for seven years, backed by $70 million, and they're already in over 100 locations across the U.S. Sessions cost less than most human therapists. Some people love them. Others worry the robot might crush them. But here's the point. Robots aren't just coming, they're already here. They're creeping into our daily lives, sometimes in ways we don't even notice. So what does all of this mean? From straight knee walking to dexterous butlers, from pregnancy robots to artificial astronauts, the story is the same. Embodied AI is leaving the lab and entering the real world. For decades, AI lived in our devices. Recommendation engines, chatbots, search algorithms. Now it's getting a body. And once intelligence has a body, the rules change. It's no longer about answering questions on a screen. It's about moving through the world, making decisions, and reshaping how we live, work, and even reproduce. That's why this moment feels so monumental. The rise of humanoids isn't just about building better machines. It's about redefining what it means to be human in a world where machines walk among us. So I'll leave you with this. Would you trust a humanoid robot to cook your dinner, to clean your home, to raise your child, or even to walk on Mars carrying humanity's future on its shoulders? Because ready or not, that's the future we're building. If you found this breakdown insightful, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps this channel grow. Drop your thoughts in the comments because I want to know. Are you excited about humanoids? Or are you worried we're crossing a line we can't uncross? And if you haven't already, subscribe to AI Ascension for deep dives into the future of AI, robotics, and the technologies reshaping our world.